Okay, this is hilarious. Somebody tells me to check out Amy's Crypt. So, my first thought being a weirdo is, what is she a crip? A blood gonna get her? What is she? Ghost hunting bloods? What? Like blood crips is a gang thing? What is it? No, it's not. It's exploring with Danny's girlfriend. Oh, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Howdy, duty, everyone. How's everybody in YouTube doing right now, YouTube land? I'm pretty sure you're all pissed off at me and leaving me negative, hateful comments. Thank you. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe so you can leave me negative comments every time I post a video. Ding! Anywho. Oh, today we're going to check out video that like well a person that has been suggested to me race recently amy's crypts so we're gonna check this out i'm it's the best word for this yeah i'm i'm not expecting a whole lot okay just not expecting a whole lot so my standards are real low right now so is this real Fuck no. I already tell you that. You want to know why I know? Look at the thumbnails. All you got to do is look at the channel's thumbnails and you can tell whether or not they're full of shit. Okay? Just just trying to say. Anyway, we're going to check this video out just so that like, I can say that I gave it a good 100% solution shot motivation thing I'm a bobber and whatever that was. I'm obviously delirious. Not really. I've just been watching fake fucking videos all night. Anyway. All right. Okay. Let's do it. You ready? Okay. Come on. Amy's Crips and Bloods. Let's do it. The Grand Hotel. I actually don't think this has happened before. This has never happened to us. By the way, the name of this video is This Has Never Happened to Us Before. Overnight in a haunted grand hotel something or another. Oh, REM pods. Oh, ghost to. Oh, they gotta be real. Oh. Another wannabe TV show. Tonight we are investigating the very haunted Grand Hotel in Millicent. This place is said to be extremely haunted. I'm sorry, you gotta pick me. I've been dying to investigate here for years. Chick, you wouldn't. I wonder how your voice is going to sound as Mickey Mouse. The considering it to be one of South Australia's most haunted hotels. The building has gained notoriety in the paranormal field. I do like the, the little voiceover thing. It's like a TV show, you know, kind of like trying to get you in the falls. mood of the From fate, you know? to strange smells and unexplainable voices and sounds. There's no shortage of spooky reports to come out of the Grand Hotel. Tonight, Look, every time I get a strange smell in a place, all I do is wonder who fucking farted. Okay, because of... Come on. Other than tobacco. Tobacco smells unique, so like I usually don't ask stupid questions. Right, because y'all look like it. You look like you're freaked out. Never happened before. Um, Never happened before. Um, y'all are bad actors. A fire alarm. Thank you. Why don't we just do that? Or you can just not, like, you know, you had to add this because nothing else was good. Okay. Damn, I'm an asshole. No, I'm just sick and tired of all these fake shit. Fire alarm's going off upstairs or some kind of alarm. It's not going off down here and... I don't know, I can't smell smoke or anything. Or what kind of methamphetamines are you on with your big ass eyes? What is going on? What are we doing? What are we doing? <laughs> Haven't even started yet, have we? No, this is... I wonder if maybe... I'm just saying, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. The look on her face, okay, man. It's a ghost. I can't even do that fucking that voice, but it's not. There's other people there. Come on. 
Let's go check it out. How did you hear yeah, movement it if that's going off? I mean, it's not just getting set up. And all of a sudden, boom, the freaking fire alarm goes off up here. There's no reason why it has gone off. It's never done this Maybe before. Maybe that's the motion detection. I like, you realize y'all broke in there. Like, I don't know. Like, like, come on. But like, How do you, do you know? <laughs> That's not paranormal. That's called a fucking fire alarm. <laughs> you know you don't have to bleep curse words anymore. Watch. Fuck. So you don't have to bleep that out anymore. Oh, thank God. The only bit of content we're going to have is this fire alarm. Okay, okay, two times, different story. I'm full turned around. Let's get into it. You look weird. I know I look weird too. I'm just saying, when somebody looks weird like this, you can call people weird. You can say it's weird. You look weird because I look weird. Come on, it's not insulting. It's like, thanks for being in the weird club, okay? Like, calm down. I don't know what it is about yeah, men that have well, weird, the like, kind of they grow a half beard. Is that your husband? And the alarm that that, wait a minute, you were in a, you were in a Exploring with Danny video, weren't you? Could have swore you were his old lady. Oh, wait, no, that's the nun. The nun's his old lady. My bad. My bad, although you kind of have that weird face like the nun. No. It's not paranormal. It was stupid. This is stupid. How long is this fucking video? God damn. Okay. But I think even if it wasn't paranormal, what effect is that going to have on the paranormal tonight? So this is a place that I have to come. It's a fucking fire alarm. Long time. This is, you know, this place is notorious. It's supposed to be one of the most haunted hotels in South Australia. You notice how she looked at him for validation. And actually, one of those stories is a man that's supposedly grumpy, right? So imagine you're a grumpy man. He's grumpy. A grumpy man. Why? Probably can't even hear fire alarms. Who knows that maybe like this will actually help you get more activity and get make this place be more active because that happened. Maybe. Maybe. Huh. Gotta cover both sides of it. You know, you gotta take both sides. So it's full of history, so it probably really is haunted. It's just, you're not going to fucking find it. Okay, so when's the investigation going to start? Room number seven, right? I think it's... Room number seven, yeah. There's like two rooms that used to be one room, but now they're like split. Mm. The The reading room and room seven. Yeah. So a lot of people have... Should have got a drink. That's right, pretty much got to be drunk to bless this shit. Why is it always Mary? She's a Republican. What? 
Why would she be staring face in the wall? So the little girl, a lot of people have seen her. I think she's probably one of the more active spirits. And she has mostly been seen on staircases, which is interesting. A lot of hauntings seem to center around staircases. But is there any evidence of this? Like, do you have any pictures or video of it? Or just people saying it? Nice shoes. Who wears flip-flops and socks? Got that Ninja Turtle look going, you know what I'm saying? That sounds like bullshit. What's the purpose of a little girl laughing at you? And you heard a child laugh, like, I'm pretty sure I myself. Yeah, that's what people have also seen a little boy here, and they laugh at themselves. We're gonna get to like a fucking investigation anytime soon. This is ridiculous. I mean, I can see why some people like it. Like, it's nice and history, you know. History filled shit's good. I don't know what it is. I guess government training and body language. Her body language is really weird to me. Like she keeps looking at him for validation of what she's saying. So that throws me when people do that. Because that means one's lying and hoping the other one backs them. Something weird in there. Your body language, chick, is just so... His is normal. His is kind of like, I smoked a blunt, and now I'm here listening to this chick talk. She sums up with that. Crip keepers. Photograph. 14. I like to help. I was giving him an EVP. Okay? Like, I can't help myself. Shit's so boring, I gotta give him some help. I mean, I, all right. It's not boring, okay? It's... I don't know. I feel like they're trying to make up the history for this place. And they're probably not. They're probably not. But I can't watch it anymore. I can't watch it anymore. Because, like, nothing's happening. It's not, like, I'm... Hold on, let me, all right, okay. All right. Okay. This is like watching a wannabe TV show. Okay, and a lot of these, these fakers do it, you know, like Twin Paranormal, all of them. It's because what they're trying to do is audition for a TV show. Okay? And that's what this is. This is a weird fucked up audition for a TV show because you overlay the history. You know, you, um, what's it called when you talk over the video anyway with the history and then you, you spend 99% of the time pointing out all the historic crap that's happened there that causes ghosts and ghosts, but you don't catch anything. It's a history lesson, not a paranormal investigation. So please, Amy, take paranormal investigation off of any of your fucking thumbnails or videos you should tag your shit as historic historic haunts bingo gotcha historic haunts amy's crypt historic haunts it's got a ring to it you should listen to me i got a, i got an ear for these things you heard me oh now i gotta go get a drink um anyway Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Things are just now getting, well, ramped back up. Ramped back up. The list is being filmed. I'm done being nice. Not really. I'm just tired of this. 
tired of seeing all these fake ass people everywhere doing this fake ass shit. And then everybody wants to call me a bully. Or if I put out videos having fun, this is boring. Like, so don't watch. It's what it is. Anyway, make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Make sure you give me a good thumbs up. It tends to help more these days. And if you didn't like this video, I want you to listen very carefully. I don't care. Okay? Simple as that. I don't care. Drink Rockstar Punch. Bye! Fake asses.